Hi, scrolling along with Susan. In my last video, I showed you how I cut out a bee honeycomb trivet with my scroll saw. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I designed it using a free program called Inkscape. And if you have not done Inkscape before, you may want to take a couple little lessons so you can familiarize yourself with all these buttons on the left and up at the top. And this is what I'm going to show you how I designed this on Inkscape. So let me start a new one here with a totally blank slate. All right. What you do is you go over here, you're gonna be using your left click button on, on your mouse the most, and you're gonna create a polygon. Come up here, make sure polygon is is clicked and that it has six corners so it can be a hexagon. Over here, right click and draw your very first hexagon. It looks like I need to have a little bit thicker wall on that and I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay. Up here to the arrow, when you click on this and you click on here, you have all these arrows that you can widen or make it wider, shrink it, change the shape and all of that. But right now we want to work, just work with the hexagon. I'm going to come up here to view and I'm going to hit page grid because I want to make sure that it is a vertical and horizontal and everything matches and it does. Now to show you how I came up with this border, which the white part is the part you're going to cut. The gray part is going to be the wood and that doesn't look like it's thick enough. So we're going to have to change that. I'm going to right click and hit fill and stroke. And I already have it up here on the side and the fill is the inside. And I want that white, which it is come over here to stroke paint. And I want it. Uh, let's just stick with that color. You see, you can lighten it or darken it. We're going to go ahead and keep it a darker gray. And then over here to stroke style, I'm going to change it to inches and that's pretty small. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. So let's click it up here. That's good. That's 0.183 and that's a nice thickness. So I like that. We're going to stick with that. All right, coming back over here. Whoops, let's click again. Okay. I am going to hit on my keyboard shift control hold that down and hit a and that's going to give my align and distribute up on the right hand side and we're going to be using that very soon so over here i will be right clicking and you can duplicate here or you can duplicate on your keyboard and my keyboard is a little bit quicker but i wanted to show you both options i'm going to be making seven of these in a row and that's going to be my widest part of my trivet I'll make seven in the middle and then I'll have six on both sides and then five and then four. So I'll have seven rows. But I will go to my keyboard and hit control D to, whoops, I just hit the wrong thing here. Oh, I made it much bigger. Let me shrink it back down again. And you can shrink it and, and bring it up closer by hitting your plus and minus on the right hand side of your keyboard. All right, let me see if I duplicated any here. here. Yeah, I duplicated one. And you want to try to align it as close as you can now. And we'll be straightening it out later on, but that's just to make sure that, that you're doing most of the work now. I love having this grid and I love having the lines that show you where it's going to be fitting. I think I only duplicated it once. Let me see. No, I duplicated it twice. Okay. So here's my third one. I think that's it. Oops, it keeps going back there. Here we go. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to be duplicating four more times. Control D, two, three, four. So I can do seven in a row here. I'm just holding down my left mouse button until I get it for position and then you can let go. I'm going to come back over here and keep switching back here. I need that. Make sure that arrow is up there. And shifting again. Th 
This takes a little while, but it's well worth it. I'll put one over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Need one more. I think I have, yep, I got one more. Seven. I don't think there's any more. I'm going to check. Yep, that's it. All right, again, take your time with this. See if all these bottoms are lined up on the grid. They are pretty darn close. Click in a blank spot. Now, left click and hold and highlight all of them so they will be one unit. Then you'll be coming over here to the align. Make sure that selection area is clicked. You have a lot of options here, but you want selection area. Come down to rearrange the far right and it says equalize edge to edge distance. I'm going to click that and let's see if it moves any. Very slightly, so all of these are the same distance apart. And we have just created one row. I'm going to hit the minus on my keyboard to make it a little smaller so you can see what I'm doing. Click in a blank area, left click, hold, and highlight six of these. You're going to go down and control D to duplicate. I'm taking six, placing them underneath again, trying to arrange them as well as you can. Down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to control D again and get my six up here. All right. Highlight five this time. Control D. I think you're getting the point. Move that. I'll put a five down here. And I will duplicate this. Put the other five up here. Again, highlight four now. Control D. That's going to be on top. Okay, Control D. And that one is going to go at the bottom. Hit the minus arrow on my keyboard again. There we go, so you can see the whole picture clicking in the blank spot. Now I'm going to highlight all of it together. Coming over again here for edge to edge distance and clicking on that and you should see it shift here. Yep, just shifted a little bit to make everything equal. There are a couple little items here that I could adjust right now, but I, I believe you're getting the idea of what we're doing. And you'll be cutting out the white area and the darker area is going to be the wood. I want to make this move together as one whole piece. Go down to group and now it will move as a whole piece. Up here it shows you the size that you're working with. I'm going to go to inches again. So it's 10.41 width and about 9.6 height. I want to make it a little bit smaller because my whole piece of wood that I'm having on the outside is going to be eight and a half by eight and a half. So I want to have this at about six and a half. So I have about an inch of wood or more on the outside. Now I want to put the border or the piece of wood that's going to be going, I'll shrink it a little bit, on the outside of this. Going back here to my polygon, clicking it, drag it. up to the arrow so I can move it around here. It looks like it's a little crooked, so click, double click there. Straighten it out a little bit. Now I want to put this underneath the other piece. Make sure this top part is highlighted. And you go up here and you want to 
lower. There you go. Now you can adjust. Let me click on this one again. You can adjust this to the shape that you want. Move this. I like that. All right. Now what we have left, I'm going to import a B onto this. And now this is assuming that you already have a B in your files and it's been saved, which I already have. Double clicking. Yes. You get your B here. Position it wherever you want. That's a little big because I need to make it a little bit smaller. Highlight all. And there you go. Object group. Now you're ready to print whatever you want from here. So I hope this tutorial helps you a little bit and you'd like to try to do some of your own designs. Thanks very much for watching.